A student was found dead in a field after mistakenly getting into a car she thought was her Uber taxi, according to police Police say Samantha Josephson hopped into a black Chevrolet Impala 2 a.m. outside a bar in Columbia, South Carolina after a Thursday night out Investigators believe the college senior may have thought the car that pulled up early on Friday morning was her Uber ride Chillingly, 14 hours later turkey hunters found the 21-year-old's body in a quiet wooded area in Clariton County, 90 miles from the city Columbia police investigating her murder have revealed they believed the University of South Carolina senior was killed after she mistakenly got into the wrong car thinking it was her Uber Nathaniel David Rowland, 24, was arrested on charges of murder and kidnapping in connection with Samantha's death after being seen driving the same car she was last seen in He had been stopped in the car by an eagle-eyed police officer early on Saturday morning, just two blocks from the bar where she had hailed her Uber a day before Samantha's blood and mobile phone and an array of cleaning products were found inside the suspect's car, according to police A child safety seat was in the back of the car and the child safety locks were on, meaning she could not escape, police said In a news conference detailing the investigation, Columbia Police Chief William Holbrook said her friends called the authorities to report a missing person about 12 hours after she had left the bar They had become worried when they realized they had not seen her since she left to hail a ride home Her worried friends and family launched a desperate search for Samantha, aided by the police Holbrook told media how investigators had combed through surveillance footage to piece together what had happened to the student Samantha had been living at a college student residence in Columbia she and her roommates had been on a night out that ended at a bar in the Five Points area off city around 2 a.m. Friday, local time, Holbrook said Video surveillance in the area police released appears to show Samantha talking on the phone as she waits outside Bird Dog Bar wearing an orange shirt and black trousers She had left the bar alone and was spotted by a bouncer getting into the black car that she and her friends had believed was the Uber she had hailed, a witness told the Daily Gamecock When Samantha's actual Uber driver arrived moments later the driver cancelled the ride because the student was not at the spot where she had requested to be picked up, witnesses told the student newspaper Police say the video showed at about 2.09 a.m. the suspect was driving an Impala when he approached the victim while she waited for a ride in front of the The Five Points bar What we know now is that she had in fact summoned an Uber ride and was waiting for that Uber ride to come, Holbrook said during the news conference We believe we don't have a statement or any evidence that suggests this other than our observations on the video We believe that she's simply mistakenly gotten into this particular car, thinking it was an Uber ride She opened the door and got into the car with the suspect driving Her body was discovered 14 hours after she went missing in a wooded area of a nearby rural county A couple of turkey hunters had found her body in a wooded area of the field about 30 to 40 feet off a dirt road in an area that would be very difficult to get to unless you knew how to get there, the police chief said 
Then, early on Saturday morning a very alert police dog handler spotted a black Impala a couple of blocks from the bar area in Five Points Samantha had disappeared from and stopped the vehicle, the police chief said. The officer signaled for the vehicle to pull over. The driver at first stopped, but as the officer approached to speak to the driver he fled on foot. The officer gave chase and arrested him a short time later. When the officer returned to the car to examine it, police found what appeared to be blood present in the car, Holbrook said. The Chevrolet Impala had a large amount of liquid that we believed to be blood, and once we did a presumptive test, it, in fact, was confirmed to be blood. Police executed a search warrant and found what forensic analysts later confirmed to be blood matching Samantha's DNA in the trunk and passenger compartment. Her cell phone was also found inside the passenger area of the car, along with a container of bleach, germicidal wipes and window cleaner, Holbrook said. A child safety lock in the car was found to have been turned on, which would not allow someone the means of escape from the back, he added. Police later found the area where Samantha's body was found was an area near where the suspect had recently been living, Holbrook said. After the news conference, Columbia Police Department spokesperson Jennifer Timmons reportedly told media another woman who knew Roland was in the car with him when he was arrested. The woman is cooperating with police, the state reported. Samantha was reportedly was a senior political science major set to graduate in May. She had been accepted into Drexel University's law school, according to the state. Reports say she had spent a semester abroad in Barcelona. Photographs posted on Facebook show Samantha beaming happily with her sister during her time in the Catalonian city. Her death has reportedly rocked the college campus community in the city of Colombia. Samantha's devastated father, Seymour Josephson of Robbinsville, New Jersey wrote a post on Facebook mourning his daughter's death. It is with tremendous sadness and of a broken heart that I post this. I will miss and love my baby girl for the rest of my life, he wrote. Holbrook said police had spoken to Samantha's devastated parents, who had traveled from New Jersey to Columbia after they received the horrific news. Our hearts are broken, he said. There is nothing tougher than to stand before a family and explain how a loved one was murdered. It was gut-wrenching. This is personal to us. A Goffin page set up after Samantha's death has already raised more than $30,000 £23,000 toward helping her family with her funeral and memorial costs. Let's quickly come together as a community and try to help the Josephson family, wrote Sami, who created the fundraiser. She was a beloved daughter, sister and friend that will forever be remembered in our hearts. Uber Technologies Incorporated launched a public awareness campaign in July 2017 regarding Uber scams and how riders can avoid getting into the wrong car, suggesting that they check the app to make sure that the car matches the one that they ordered. If the information doesn't match up, riders should not get into the car, the company wrote on a blog post. Read more top news stories from Mirror Online.